Howdy folks, quick update on some of the more work that I've done to try to make this place look more like a home. Uh, yes, I know, Wavy Mirror is still here, I haven't gotten rid of it yet. However, here in the staircase, I've just, just been doing things to make it look like somebody actually lives here, to make it feel more home-like. So we'll run you through these, a few at a time. So that's my juicy. I forget who did it. There's an advert that I saw on Instagram. You can send them photos of your pets or anything. And they make canvas displays out of them. So that's my juicy girl. Hanging up here, I've got the world of tanks and world of warships, prints. And same again. But this time, Akazuki, my babies. I'm just going to back up the stairs here. Hopefully I won't kill myself doing it because I've lined the staircase with all of the Comic Con celebrity photos. So we've got uh, me and Two Duke, me and Carl Weathers, me and Tom Skerritt, Veronica Cartwright, HMS Newcastle Ships Crest, USS Enterprise Ships Crest, me and Alison Hannigan, and then myself, Rita, and Alan Tujic. Uh, that one actually belongs to Rita, but uh, you know, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> Me and Chris Barry, uh, Emily Kinney, Beth from The Walking Dead. Uh, I got this one when I met Jeanette Goldstein, who's more commonly known for playing Vasquez in Aliens along with Bill Paxton, who played Hudson, Lance Henriksen, who played Bishop, but before they did Aliens, uh, they did a movie called Near Dark together, and that's what that's from. Um, me and, I can't remember her name, which is Caprica 6 from Battlestar Galactica. Um, again, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he played the Scorpio killer in Dirty Harry, and, well, he's much more famous these days at least for playing uh, Garrick, the Cardassian tailor on Deep Space Nine. Myself, Rita and Glenn from The Walking Dead. And yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, today, I did all of the photos and paintings yesterday. This was today's major project. Climbing furniture for the cats. And I managed to put that up with only minor injuries to myself. So. Um, yeah, it's starting to look more like somewhere that somebody actually lives. I mean, this room is still going to be basically an echo chamber until I get the, the furniture, the sofa, the display cabinets, and so on and so on. It's probably going to be anything over two months before those arrive. But we've gotten almost all of the boxes unpacked. For anybody who was wondering, R2 here is actually a waste paper bin. <laughs> I might have to actually start using it. Um, yeah, I'm starting to feel much better about this. I really do love this place. Even though a couple of days ago I was convinced I just made the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> but yeah, things are coming along. It's all gonna be good. So, yeah, there you go, update coming along nicely and um, honestly all of your messages of support and understanding have helped more than you can possibly know because this has been the most stressful experience of my life and I've been to war twice <laughs> this was worse <laughs> anyway um, thanks take care catch you next time